So while we're doing this uh, hot fire test of that little nitrogen evaporator burner, then uh, we're of course also doing a few other things in the meantime. And just to give you a status update, uh, I want to give you uh, a status on where we are with the next engine that's coming up. Remember, next weekend we have a uh, live fire of this burpinator or burner again. So. We are doing the uh, small nitrogen evaporator burner as a separate project and then we have the big uh, hot fire test stand that's just being finished along with the so-called BPM-17 engine and the BPM-25 engine. So the BPM-17 is a throatless engine. We've used them before. We had the little BPM-2 engine, which was uh, just essentially a pipe, but it has the uh, added advantage that it has the same propellant mass flow as the BPM-5 engine had. So we got the, the same fuel flows, um, but if something went wrong and we blew up an engine, we would just be blowing up a pipe and not a very expensive, nicely bell-shaped engine. So we're doing exactly the same thing for the BPM-17 and BPM-25. So this is a very, very much bigger pipe, the BPM-17 uh, pipe. So we're looking at uh, propeller mass flows two and a half times bigger than the BPM-5. That also means that these items here may be a little heavier than they had to be, but there was just a number of industrial components that were readily available off the shelf. And since mass doesn't matter in this case, we just took what was easiest to work with. So um, the engine pipe itself is already done. That's essentially ready to use. Then we found a very nice large industrial stainless steel flange, a very heavy piece of equipment. And then we experimented on some of the welding techniques we're going to use for the BMW 25 engine anyway. And then we made the lock stone part of it. So those two are both done and, and actually has been for a while. Then we needed to do a, a new piece which uh, basically sandwiches the injector in between these, those two elements. And uh, we opted for a uh, basically a manifold which will have four um, individual uh, fuel inlets and essentially just not to make sure we have a jet of fuel going in across the injector we put some veins in here to sort of uh, spiral flow it a little bit. It also means that the fuel filter will fit on the inner circumference of this one and be kept in place. So the point where we're at now is that the injector that goes into this one is actually sitting up here. It's upside down, so uh, the big flange part that is on the lower section here in the jig will be flipped around and fit into this one. And you can already see at this point the radial holes, which will take the fuel that comes in from an outer manifold, uh, is already done and drilled. And there is also a number of uh, indications and other stuff here on the top of the injector. So as soon as we have done the, uh, the nitrogen evaporator hot fire test, we can get some of our uh, people back and start drilling the, uh, the inclined holes for the injector on the BPM-17C. So we have a, a huge pile of, uh, of engine tests coming up. The BPM-17 uh, will be the next one. And we also uh, working as we finish that one, the BPM25 parts will be, uh, the final two parts we need will be done and then we'll start welding that one as well. So lots of hot fire. If you want to see any of this hardware coming together in person, test some flown rockets or try our space capsules on for size, come visit us. We run public tours every weekend, so just check our website for availability and book your visit. We really hope to see more of you here. The big thrust structure for the uh, BPM-17 and BPM-25 engine is coming nicely together. We also picked the company color. Um, and in this case, we want to try and give you a mock-up today of what this thing is going to look like when we take our very nice next engine and put it right here. So we're going to give you an impression of what this will really look like it when, when we fire this one up shortly. Yeah, so we've just finished mounting the uh, big-ass pipe on the uh, 
on this, which is our engine for testing the test stand. So it's just a very simple engine, doesn't have a choke on it. And uh, yeah, we've just finished test mounting it and uh, I think it looks very respectable. So uh, yeah, looking forward to seeing some fire in it. The reason we're getting so close to reaching space on our speaker rocket is because all of our crowdfunding supporters. If you enjoy watching these insider videos on building a space program and you would like to become an even bigger part of it, you can help us out by going over to our website www.copsum.com and becoming a supporter with a small monthly or one-time donation. We all do this for free in our spare time, so you'd be surprised how much every little bit helps. And thank you if you feel like what we do and share is interesting.